welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. Let's get to the point. So several of y'all since I've been back asked me did I ever get my dream card. <laughs> and I told y'all no. Oh my gosh. So first off y'all, I left the gym probably about 30 minutes ago. I'm in the little um, garden area, patio area, whatever. Replanting some things, got dirt all under my nails, replanting things, putting down seeds and all of that for the season. But Saturday, so my car got totaled. Well, let me start over. I'm moving too fast. I'm trying to get this out, y'all, because <laughs> I got to go. Uh, so my, y'all know I drove a Chevy Malibu and it was totaled out. So the only thing that's wrong with it is it's a big, big scratch on the side of the door, the windows going, and for those panels and not, but not the window, the um. So the oh, I got so much going on, y'all. Phone calls, text messages, everything. So let me start over. My Malibu was in a car accident a couple of weeks ago. After the insurance looked at it, after I took it to a car lot, they um came to the conclusion they were totaling it out. It's just the side of it is scratched up and the side mirror is missing, but they said it'd be $7,000 to fix, okay? I bought this car back in 2016. Ne never any huge issues with this car, y'all. Never, ever, ever, okay? So I kept it. You know, I did think about purchasing a Mach-E a couple of years ago. I changed my mind because at the time I was living in a townhouse and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. I cannot have this expensive car living in an apartment. Um, so I, I, just, I, the, um, I changed my mind. And then when I was about to purchase the house, I was like, let me go back in and purchase the um, Mach-E again. When it came... First, it started off like a 0% APR when I first ordered it. When it came in, they went up to like 3.9%. It added like several hundred dollars to the car note. So I was like, no. So at the end of the day, the car note was going to be like eight, dollars $900 for the car. That's what it boiled down to with the interest and everything, right? So I was like, I don't want to do that right now. I do not want to do that right now. So I changed my mind. So anyway, fast forward to now. Car got in an accident. The insurance company said it would cost them $7,000 to fix, which is basically the same amount that the car is worth. So they said um, they were gonna they were gonna total it out. They wasn't gonna pay to get it fixed. So yeah, this is what's so crazy. They're considering. Now it was a black line hair that I got off with fingernail polish. But other than that, y'all, they considered this because the black line that was there, the window's gone. They considered this to be a total loss. So they let me keep the car and they paid me for it. So that's crazy. They said I can keep the car and they can deduct some things and then send me a check. So that's what I decided to do. So they sent me a check already and um, I'm going to go ahead and just you know, get the Chevy fix on my own, which should probably take me about $2,000 because that, that quote he gave me was inflated. Okay. It was absolutely inflated. Absolutely. I hope I don't forget to put it in this video so y'all can see how inflated it was. So anyway, um, so Saturday I went to test drive a Mark E, and of course, that's the only car that I want, y'all. That is the only car that I want. I've had that car in my mind three, four years now. I wanted the car before it even was manufactured. It's like, I seen a YouTube video about the car back in like 2019, 2020, 2019, and I've wanted the car ever since. So, I think I have an amazing deal. I have a 2023 Mark E in the white that I want. Um, the extended battery is an electric car, all-wheel drive. That car right there probably would have been like fifty-nine, sixty-one thousand if I would have purchased it back then. But because it's a 2023, they're coming out in a couple of months with the 2024s. They have a couple of rebates, a couple of just. I was like, ah! So I think today is the day. So with all that being said, today is the day, y'all. Ah! that I think I am going to get my dream car. I think so. So I went to test drive it on 
um, Saturday and I have a little clip. I was, y'all, I don't know. I was just too excited to see that car in person. And to be completely honest with y'all, I ordered the car before I ever seen it in person. That was actually my first time seeing it and touching it and, and driving it. That's how much I knew I wanted the car, right? The warranties on it are amazing. Some of the warranties are three years. Um, some of them are eight. Uh, and of course, I can extend the three year. I, it's just, so let's, let's go. Let's go ahead and get started. I was going to make this a vlog, but for the most part, I'm just going to be outside doing some gardening. And he's texting me right now. Y'all. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I did. I always negotiate and never apply pressure. When I walked onto that dealership, I was just like, I want to test drive this. I said, we can do all the paperwork. Y'all can run my credit. Y'all can do all that because I want to see where I am, what my interest rate will be and all of that. But at the end of the day, no pressure. If I feel like y'all applying pressure, I will walk away. Okay, I do not want to be pressured to do anything. So they did pressure me. They did ask me once or twice that I want to put like $100 down just to um, save it over the weekend or yesterday. And I told them, no, that's pressure for me. If y'all if y'all have someone that come in here and they have a check or they want that car that bad for the next 24 hours, then they deserve that car. But I want to go online and search. So they gave me a price for the car. And then... Um, I came home, did my research, and I found the car about $2,000 cheaper. Now, mind you, it was a different color and all of that, but they matched it. They matched it. So he called me and he was like, you know, we understand it's a different this, different that, but we will give you that price. So I was like, ah, I saved $2,000 just by thinking about it overnight. So moving forward, I think that they got me... A good deal, y'all, and I'm so excited. So again, I'm gonna go out and garden, and um, we're gonna we're probably gonna get us a new car today. Ah! Oh, y'all, I wanna cry. Okay, let let me not, let me not. I am just a regular old girl, okay, and I just I, my little testimony. I grew up in the projects, food stamps, Section 8, in the hood, Happy Hill Projects for anybody that's out of Alabama Mobile. Um, my mom didn't have a job, a good part of my childhood. You know, as we grew up, she, you know, got employed and all of that. And, you know, she doing her thing is still to this day. But growing up in the conditions that I did, and seeing where I am now is amazing to me, right? I have a career. <sighs> I've purchased a house on my own with my money, right? A house now that's probably worth almost a half a million. <sighs> I'll say 400000 I won't exaggerate. <laughs> And the fact that I can go out here and purchase like my dream car that in reality I could probably go into a car lot and probably purchase two, three cars at this price, right? The fact that I have credit and the fact that my credit is so high and so good that they told me I don't have, I have 0% interest rate. Like, I don't have any interest on the car. Zero, they're off of me. Zero. The fact that I'm going, every penny that I put into this car is going to the price of the car. The fact that I have a huge down payment for the car. <sighs> yeah, it's, it, it feels amazing, okay? It feels amazing. And all of this came from my brain right? This, like, I, as y'all know, I don't make any money from YouTube, real talk. I might make a hundred dollars here and there, but nothing, nothing for real. 
So all of the money that I have made has came from my career, my education, my hustle to learn. It is so humbling. It feels so amazing to know that I could provide for myself, no matter if I have a man or not. Or a family, you know, even though my family is amazing. And my relationship is amazing. It just feels amazing to be able to take care of yourself. So anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh, let me go, y'all. Before I start up again. Y'all know me. <laughs> y'all, I'm here. I'm here. Hey y'all, so I have did all of my paperwork and everything. It's been a long day. I'm crispy and busted, okay? So um right now, man, I got a hater on my squad. Y'all hear me? But anyway, I am waiting for them to detail the car and call me and let me know that it's done. But it's done. I feel that all of my paperwork are so excited. We happy. <laughs> oh, so yes, yeah, so that's that. Now my boo next. He finna get him a who now again? Oh, Cadillac Escalade. His car gonna twice, gonna cost twice as much as mine. I ain't afford. I ain't in that league yet. I ain't in that league. <laughs> I ain't in that league yet, y'all. But anyway, yeah. So I'll show y'all my car <sighs> when I get when they give it to me. My lips crisp, sorry. So yeah, I'm starving. He has a fed me once today. <sighs> Every time I try to feed her what she bought to be, she don't be having an appetite. Oh so, my huh? gosh, what is that? Food? Yeah. Y'all, my grades are showing. I'm becoming an old lady right before y'all eyes. Methuselah, <laughs> she older than Methuselah. <laughs> now he's at Applebee's. So I got this long guy nice tea. I didn't know it was gonna be this big. And he got him a cute drink. I got a perfect Patron. <laughs> Strong it just margarita. Gave a cute drink. No, he just made it cute. <laughs> so y'all, as I was saying earlier, I had to stop recording because the waiter came. I don't like recording in front of people. Out of all these years, I still don't. Either way, that's a good point, but it's not real time. It's not real, and I do know some of them. <laughs> he a hater. He, he be hating on our love. Anyway, ain't nobody thinking about him. So I had not eaten today at all, y'all. This is my first meal at Applebee's, and they said the car won't be ready for a couple of hours. So we just decided to come eat, and then we're gonna get there, and then I'm gonna show y'all, and then it's gonna be the end of the day. <laughs> This chicken had onion and mushroom around it. When I tell y'all them onion and mushroom was so dang on good. This is my little leftovers for later. Alright y'all, so this is the last footage of my vehicle. Ah, is it on? Wait. It's not on. Wait a minute. I thought I pushed the start button. Hold on. Brake. 
like we start. Okay, it's all out. <laughs> I don't know. I have it. This is like my second time in here. The first time I was on here for like 15 minutes. I don't know how nothing work, y'all. Let me see. Um, okay. Drive. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let me see. Reverse. I don't want to go reverse. Okay. Drive. <laughs> okay. So anyway, y'all, I am so excited about this car. I need to go to a doctor's appointment. And I'm going to update y'all in the video that y'all probably have seen already. I'm going to post that probably Thursday. And um, update y'all on my stuff. But anyway, I'm going to head to the doctor and all of that. And yeah, I have a new car. I'm so excited. So y'all, I forgot to tell y'all. Okay. So I have never had a brand new car. Okay. I purchased this car at eight miles. Eight miles miles was on the car it's 23 now i am so stoked about this okay so fucking stoked oh my gosh yo y'all my car is parked way over there i'm not sure if y'all can see it am i the only one that gets a new car and never want to park by other people <laughs> hey y'all so i am back home and I am about to take out my braids and um, finish recording another video that, of course, again, y'all will see before this one. Whew, y'all, if it wasn't for the front of my head, I probably would keep these braids in a bit longer. Um, but my hair, my scalp is so irritated. It's just, it's time. I've washed them um, twice and I also... I've washed them twice and I, I've had them in since like February the 12th. So we're in March, April. So not all, we're the beginning, second of um, April. So not even two months. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take these out. Go ahead and wrap up this video, y'all. I am just so proud of me. I'm just so proud of so many things that I have accomplished over like the last 10 years. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we, I heard, I read something, I've read it since then, but the first time I read it, I was probably in my twenties. It says something like, we all have the same amount of time in a day as, and I think they compared it to like Beyonce or something like that. And that just all made sense to me. You know, I could never be a Beyonce cause I don't know how to sing and I barely can dance. And that's not my goal. My goal is to be me, but I have the same time in a day that she and everyone else that's successful. And, you know, in order to make it happen for ourselves, we have to use the time that we have. So, you know, I've had, I've marked out so many things off my checklist of things that I want to achieve in life. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to buy property in my home state I might change that about property in a different state, but right now my goal is to buy property, buy land. That is the next goal for your girl, okay? And when it happens, I'll be all dramatic and in tears as always because I'm going to make it happen, okay? So anyway, I love you guys so very much. I hope y'all enjoyed this video of me getting my new car finally after like four years. Um, how do y'all feel when y'all get a new car? It's just, just like whatever, you know, or are y'all super excited like me? Um, all of that. So I'm going to go give me some tint on it and all that probably tomorrow. But for now, let me take this out of my head. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in the next one.